Hello, welcome to another Drupal tutorial for BYU-Hawaii webmasters. This tutorial will go over the views module, in my opinion the most powerful module in Drupal, and what sets apart Drupal from other content management systems. Uh, views is a very powerful um, tool in that it enables you to filter or query data and uh, help you manipulate that data and display it any uh, way that you want. Also, another great thing about Views is you can plug in View um, Views plugins and create many um, effects or applications that could uh, help your uh, website. And Views can be used in so many ways, and this uh, tutorial will only cover the basics. First of all, you have to make sure that uh, the Views module is enabled. And if we go to uh, our modules listings, we will be able to find um, a lot of views that, or other uh, plugins that are dependent upon it, for example the Rota banner. As you can see on my um, search uh, on my uh, find feature here, there's about 96 references to views and those are all plugins and um, uh, modules that are dependent upon views or what uh, views is dependent upon. And as you can just kinda see there are there are so many like uh, panes there's a calendar, and uh, so Drupal is uh, views is a very powerful um, element in Drupal, and it, and it's pretty much like uh, you know being able to query um, a database and and get what you want. And this tutorial will show you just the basics of how to enable uh, views and some of its plugins, and be able to retrieve um, information that we need to display on our homepage or any other part of our website. So for example here under views we have the main views module and as you can see all the other dependent and um, other uh, plugins that are dependent upon views. Uh, for example we have the views accordion that has the cool uh, jQuery um, uh, effect. You have um, views exporter, you have uh, views rotators, views slideshow, you have uh, view tabs and there are more plugins that you can enable and uh, get really cool effects on your on your website and this uh, views um, really helps those that are uh, not coders and uh, helps them to be able to manipulate and retrieve data um, from from the database and manipulate it so I'm going to go ahead and enable some of the popular um, views mo uh, plugins and modules and as you can see it tells me that I need to um, enable some of the other um, plugins for views. I'm going to go ahead and do that and what we're going to do is we're going to go to views and um, try to see well uh, if we can filter and access and sort some of the data that uh, that's available on this Drupal site. Now, another key thing that's important is uh, when if you want to be able to effectively um, find information on your uh, Drupal site and be able to use views you have to use content types and separate your content uh, for example in academics here we have many academic departments and so we've created um, different content types uh, there's about 10 or 15 different content types that we created for each department and uh, if we wanted to filter or create a view um, based on these different departments we can use the views module and be able to um, get the information that we need in order to um, display that on a specific page or the home page. Some good examples of using views is, for example, if um, you're, you, you have a newsroom or a newspaper um, uh, Drupal site and you want to filter the, the top stories or you want to uh, use taxonomy and be able to filter your, the news based on uh, search topics or articles then you'll be able to do that using views okay so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into our views right here and we're gonna create a new view and what we're gonna do is we're gonna add and we're just gonna um, say for example we're gonna just um, filter the titles of the different departments available on this installation. So what we're doing here is we're actually uh, going to 
take the entire database which involves about 15 different departments and uh, filter the titles of those and list them on the page so we know uh, what are the different um, page titles on that uh, on this installation so I'm gonna do just uh, page titles and we can do uh, tags if we want now as here tagging is pretty much just um, giving it uh, you know a classification or something to, to identify that um, that view and the view type, what we're doing here is we're saying we want it to show up, our results to show up in a node. Okay, and I forgot to put an underscore here. And I'm going to go ahead and save that. All right, so you have your, your basic, um, this is Drupal 6, and you're looking at the, the, the basic, um, uh, views page right here where you administer and create your views so what we want to do here is you have your default settings but at the same time we want to create a, a a Drupal page or a node that would have our, our the the view or the filter that we're looking for uh, which are the page titles so right here it already has the the default name that we given it uh, for page now every time you click here, you gotta browse down and go down here, and we're just gonna add titles. That's what we're trying to filter here. And we're gonna update it, and if you want to put a title that would show up on that view, you can uh, put that title in there as well. Uh, another thing, and a good practice is to always save the changes that you uh, do. Uh, next thing is we're gonna do style here. Now remember how I said um, you can put multiple plugins. These are the plugins, and this, are, this is where they show up under style. You can, for now, we're just going to do table. But if you wanted to do view tabs or views accordion or just unformatted or grid and all these other plugins, you can, this is where you specify uh, what you would like. Uh, and then you can also do override and then update here. Now it's asking us that you know we we want to do uh, we're going to create fields. So what we're going to do is we're going to go here and we're going to filter what we're going to work on and which is pretty much the node. So we're going to go here node and we're going to look for the node title. And there is the node title. Pretty much in in database, you know what we're doing here is we're just kind of doing a query and selecting the the title field. To display on our on our view, and there are other uh, options here that we can um, select. And once we're done, we can go to the next. There are other options to use a page um, AJAX. We don't need that. You can do also a pager if you have uh, so many pages of. Uh, for example, if you have, if you're displaying full pages, you can use the pager to help you so that your users don't have to scroll down. And you can also restrict the amount of. Um, items to display and at this point uh, we don't want a limitation we want to display all the titles so I'm just gonna go ahead and put zero which pretty much is unlimited now there are other options of caching you can also um, if you wanted to display it on a block you can go in here and display it in the block if you wanted to create a header and a footer you can also do a, a theme here and this one this is where you specify where you would like to um, see the the query or the view that you you are you are creating, and when you're done, you can hit update. So we're gonna see all the results. As you can see, we're already seeing all the titles of our all the pages on this Drupal installation, and I believe there's more than four thousand pages. So these are um, all the titles that are listed here from the database or from our Drupal installation. You can also create a menu, and um, as you can see, you can also define relationships like you know in, in database, or you can create arguments, and you can also sort here. Uh, say for example, I wanted to sort it. So what I want to do is I want to sort the the page title, the note title. I'm going to add. It gives me additional options. I can do descending. I can do uh, uh, ascending. And for now, I'm just going to leave it as ascending and update default display and then save it. You also have the option to do more filters here. 
and once this is this is saved I can go ahead and work on um, other options and as you can see you can also filter by other options so for example if I had a date field I could go in here or if I had a taxonomy I could filter um, the the query or the the view that I'm creating based upon the elements here and so this is a really powerful tool if you wanna uh, manipulate data or display data or um, you know create reports or be able to use this you can actually create um, you know web applications using we views and uh, we'll be providing more videos on advanced uh, views options so now what we're gonna do we've saved this we want to take a look at the results of our um, of our query or our view we can go here and click on page titles and lo and behold we've created a really nice organized table um, of all the uh, titles of the pages that are available on our our Drupal site so as you can see there's so many things that you could do with views and um, when you go to drupal.org or YouTube you'll see many uh, examples of how views is used to manipulate data and um, you could use this to uh, create image galleries and using taxonomy you can classify um, different types of images or content and be able to filter and create um, uh, nice looking websites and uh, hopefully this gives you a, a basic idea of what views is and we'll be providing more advanced uh, views uh, tutorials later on thank you